Welcome back to Top Repairs. How do you know you have a bad radiator hose or a bad heater core hose? And it's time to replace it. The first sign of a bad radiator hose it is going to be coolant leak. If you see coolant leaking out of the radiator hose at the crimp area or at the clamp area, or you see coolant leaking at the rubber area, it could be a sign that it is time to replace that radiator hose. If you see coolant leaking at the end of the radiator hose, it does not necessarily mean that radiator hose is bad. In fact, it could be caused by a rusted radiator hose clamp. Or that radiator hose clamp might just need to be readjusted so it stops leaking at the end of the radiator hose. The next sign of a failing radiator hose or failing heater core hose is that the rubber hose feels extremely soft when you squeeze it. If you're able to squeeze it like that and it does not feel firm, it means that the outside of the rubber hose and also the inside of the rubber hose is deteriorating. The next sign is going to be the radiator hose or the heat core hose cannot retain its shape. When the rubber starts to deteriorate, it cannot retain its shape and it can easily collapse or it can easily expand. The next sign that it is time to change your radiator hose or heater core hose is going to be the rubber hose feels extremely hard. When the surface feels extremely hard caused by engine heat, it is time to replace that rubber hose, especially when you can't squeeze it at all. The next sign it is time to change that radiator hose or heater core hose, it is going to be cracks. If you see visible cracks on the radiator hose or heater core hose, make sure to replace it. One way to check for cracks on the radiator hose or heater core hose is to bend the hose or you can twist the hose. And again, if you see visible cracks or you see material coming out of the rubber hose, make sure to change that rubber hose before it bursts. Also, I'd like to add, if you're squeezing the rubber hose or you're bending the rubber hose or you're twisting the rubber hose and you're checking for cracks, make sure to listen for crunching noise as well. If you hear a crunching noise, replace that rubber hose. Next, check the radiator hose or heater core hose for bulge. If you see a bulge sticking out of the rubber hose and you see a bump sticking out of it, it is time to change that rubber hose. Next, you want to gently scratch the surface of the rubber hose. If you can rip out some material just by gently scratching on it, it is time to change that rubber hose. So those are the symptoms of a bad radiator hose or heater core hose. And that is how you check for a bad radiator hose or heater core hose. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.